Welcome back to Bombadil Tree Farm. An American Tree Farm System certified family forest since 1978 and the proud recipient of Maine's Outstanding Tree Farmer of the Year Award for the year 2022. Come along with me as I head out into Bombadil Tree Farm with my tub train to collect firewood that is already cut and waiting alongside our skid trails. If what you see looks like an idea that you might want to try, I will show you in the latter part of this video how to make your own tub train for close to nothing. I take one tub at a time down a skid trail, filling it with firewood, and then assemble them into a train at a convenient location on one of my principal skid trails, what I call collecting trails. I do this by dropping the tubs one at a time in a line. After releasing my winch cable, I pull the tractor ahead. After lowering the winch and re-engaging its drum, I flip the winch cable over the tops of tubs already loaded and waiting, and then winch each subsequent tub into place where it can easily be connected to the one in front of it. Because my winch is radio controlled, I can do this from a safe location where I can closely watch each tub being winched into position. Using the remote control, I then relax the tension on the winch cable and attach the tub to the one in front of it. After that, I reattach to the lead tub, winch the entire train of tubs closer to the tractor, and off we go. The tubs glide smoothly over the ground and don't cause any damage, not even to my lawn. I have also used these tubs for moving field stones and I'm certain they would work well for many other bulk materials, such as wood chips, compost, or manure. On snow in the winter, they glide even easier. Upon arriving at our basement entrance, I will stack the wood outside to season over the summer before moving it indoors. Once in the basement, it will fuel our furnace to keep our home warm and snug throughout the coldest winter days and winter nights. In many regions of Canada and the northern USA, fuel oil has been for many decades a principal source of energy to heat homes and both public and commercial buildings. This is the fuel oil furnace in a nearby neighbor's basement, and these are its fuel oil storage tanks. 
The tanks don't last forever, and old ones are quite easy to come by for free. Here I am laying out straight lines on one old tank to guide the cuts that I will make using a handheld circular saw, commonly referred to as a skill saw, using inexpensive metal cutting abrasive blades. The abrasive blades quickly wear down, which, being inexpensive, is not a problem. I consumed two blades cutting lids off three fuel oil tanks. To prevent partially cut lids from pinching the saw blade, I leave a short uncut tab along each side and slip a wooden shingle or other support under each corner before cutting through the tabs. Sometimes it then takes a brisk whack to free the cutout section. The metal cutting blades do leave sharp slivers of steel along the edges that are easily removed with either an angle grinder or a handheld file. You can use whatever you want to attach the tubs together. I had an old steel cable from my tractor's logging winch and many scraps of chain that I cut into appropriate lengths. But anything you come up with, even nylon rope, will do the trick. After use, the tubs are easy to stack so that they don't fill up with water, snow, or ice. By the way, nothing says that three is the correct number of tubs in a train. On straight trails, I believe that double or even triple that number, depending upon the size and power of your tow vehicle, ground conditions, and season of the year, would work just fine. If you are really ambitious, you might want to try something as grand as this train of loaded bobsleds being pulled by a bulldozer. The photo is one of many from the mid-20th century heyday of Maine's Great Northern Paper Company. If you think a tub train would work for you, go ahead, make one, and give it a try. Refine it with your own adaptations and improvements, and please let me and other viewers know how it goes. Until next time, Kathy and I bid you a fond farewell from Bombadil Tree Farm, where every day is Earth Day.